Jim Phillips is probably the most influential graphic artist in skate history. If a single artist had to be chosen to represent skateboard art to aliens, Jim Phillips would be the choice. With a career spanning almost six decades, the following bullet points should help tell you why. In 1962, Jim's Woody comic wins a contest and his first artwork is published in Surfer Quarterly. In 1975, Jim begins freelance work for NHS and designs the logo for Road Rider Wheels. The following year, he creates the slanted Santa Cruz lettering still used today. In 77, he draws the OJ Wheels logo. By 78, Jim adds the red circle behind the lettering to create the Santa Cruz red dot. In 1979, Jim designs the Maltese Cross logo for independent trucks. At the turn of 1980, Phillips co-designed Steve Olson's checkerboard graphic, the first use of full board graphics and the first use of his red dot logo on a deck. In 1984, Jim unveils the Roscop 1, launching the bestseller series that runs through 1989 with the Roscop 5. A year later, Phillips designs the Screaming Hand as the original Santa Cruz Speed Wheels logo. That same year, Jim and his wife Dolly set up the first graphic art computer, a Macintosh 512, at NHS, and began laying out all catalogs, ads, and dealer magazines. By 1987, he adds the Keith Meek Slasher and his first version of the Nottis Panther for SMA to his growing list of iconic board. Hitting peak productivity right in time for the late 80s boom, in 1988, Phillips pumps out the Jason Jesse Neptune and Sun God models. The second version of the SMA Nottis Panther, the Corey O'Brien Reaper, the Hosoi Rockets Wheels logo, along with the box art for Wheels of Fire. The list of iconic iconic graphics created at Jim's Peak are almost too many to name, but by 1989 he is also credited with Jeff Grosso's Toy Box, Alice in Wonderland, Demon Bat, and Good and Evil models. Jeff Kendall's Atomic Man, Tom Knox's Ghoul, as well as more video art for Streets on Fire. In 1991, with the industry upheaval of the Big Five, Jim leaves Santa Cruz to return to freelance art. Over the course of the next decade, skateboarding turns his back momentarily on its own history. Cut to 2002, and interest in skateboarding's past undergoes a renaissance. Rich Novak of NHS orders 36 paintings from Jim, creating the largest collection of Jim Phillips art at the NHS offices. In 03, 06, and 07, Phillips publishes three widely acclaimed books of his work. Surf Skate and Rock Art of Jim Phillips, The Rock Art of Jim Phillips, then The Skateboard Art of Jim Phillips. Finally, in 2008, Jim returns to NHS, signing a license and agreement, as well as creating new designs. Santa Cruz begins reissuing Jim's artwork on both old and new decks, shirts, and wheels to great success. Jim is diagnosed with multiple myeloma bone cancer in 2010. As a result, he retires from full-time work and begins lifelong chemotherapy. In 2014, Jim is honored with Trans World Skateboarding's Eric Stricker Award. In 2015, NHS presents a worldwide art show for Jim Phillips and his Screaming Hand. The show travels to 25 cities worldwide and invites 50 noted artists to join with their versions of Jim's creation. In 2017, Jim Phillips is inducted into the Skateboarding Hall of Fame and presented with their Icon Award. That same year, Jim and his wife Dolly celebrate their 50th anniversary. In 2019, Jim continues to draw when he can. He also continues to battle cancer, and odds are almost 100% certain that any skate shop on the planet you walk into will be showcasing multiple products bearing Jim's artwork. Jim Phillips' influence on the pastime remains as strong today, if not stronger than ever. Thanks for everything, Jim. Skateboards wouldn't look the same without you.